there are different perspectives on why we do this project here of making whiskey at Mount Vernon. Uh, number one, for those of us who make it, it's an incredible opportunity as historians to be involved in doing this the real way, the old way, and we gain a lot from that, and it helps us become better historic interpreters. Secondly, it brings a lot of attention to Mount Vernon. Uh, people are interested in Washington and the whiskey story. In the late 18th century, the distillation equipment was essentially a piece of farm equipment. Every farm had, had a set. And, and, you know, and George Washington's was no different. He had far, five farms, I think it was, on the site, and one really nice-sized distillery. Making whiskey at Mount Vernon is always a bit of a challenge because we choose to continue to use 18th century means and methods. And uh, mostly it's just back-breaking manual labor. When we start out, we have to get about 30 gallons of boiling water into the mash tub. And that's accomplished by a, by a Congo line of people that take turns dipping a wood bucket in a boiler and carting the water over and dumping it in the mash tub. And stirring the grains in is an incredibly manual procedure. We have a, um, a long-handled pole, and uh, it's very much like a rowing action. If you could imagine the rowing a rowboat through oatmeal. Then we've got, again, a bucket brigades to get it out of the fermenters and over to the still. Bucket brigades to get it out of the still and send it over to the farm. Um, there's just a lot of carton stuff around here that's, that's just not done anymore in, in modern distilleries because of the advent of pipes and pumps. I think we got a new perspective on the lives of the people that worked here in the 1790s. We run the numbers a lot and look at what we did in, in about two weeks' time and we made about 134 gallons of whiskey. Uh, in 1799, they made 11,000 gallons, which means they had to make about 30 to 50 gallons a day. I used to think that it was gonna be random, it was gonna be hit and miss, it wasn't gonna be particularly good, but after the first round of making George Washington's rye, I came to a completely different conclusion, because by golly, I'd drink that stuff right off the still all day long.